so uh, definitely want to start off. Uh, I have a real a really cool talk today. Going to try to keep it under you know five six minutes. Have to start off with saying. The Bitcoin Cash community is the most generous, most smartest, most coolest, uh, uh, all around coolest people. Absolutely generous. W amazing. I open my wallet today and I'm like, damn, man, look at that. You know, um, guys, if, if anyone who creates content, um, you know, make sure you're posting, posting up your address and uh I'm gonna. I offer incentives to uh, anybody who, um, if you're watching this video, if you've never had Bitcoin Cash, uh, post your address. Go download the Bitcoin Cash Wallet app. Post your receiving address on there. I'm gonna send you some Bitcoin Cash. Um, but yeah, just a huge thank you. I can't thank you enough. And and I guarantee you, we're gonna really put that to great use. Um, I'm gonna be saving up for a little bit. Uh, so I'm not going to touch those funds for a bit, but i um, going to keep on saving up and then we're going to do some really cool stuff. I got some great ideas for um, filming live uh, and interviewing new people and, you know, live, you know, like probably with some editing and stuff to make it with, but with good sound and good, good visuals. And then we're going to edit it and make it really fun so you can just show new people receiving Bitcoin Cash for the first time. So... If you if you have a channel, post up your address, encourage others to engage. And today I have a sort of a special talk, and I wanted to bring up something that I sort of have had in my mind for a few years now, but I think that I can uh, crystallize it and hopefully pass this on to you, so you can carry this forward. Um, today I want to talk about your purpose. Uh, I want to talk about you, and I want to ask you ask you a question about you know what it is that drives you and what makes you feel happy. What it is what is it that makes you uh, want to engage in action? What do you really like? What do you really not like? What do you agree with? What do you not agree with? Um, what gives you uh, energy what gives you uh, the motivation to communicate to reach out to help others to survive and to do really well uh, and to grow to produce um, you know I want you to think about that for yourself take the time it might it might you might you might already know what your purpose is um, you may not or you may have figured it out a long time ago and then it kind of got squashed down and maybe you need to bring that bring that those coals of the old fire back out and uh, rekindle those coals because essentially what I think that we can okay sorry trying to keep my thoughts uh, clarified here so okay so we can all agree that uh, most people would prefer not, most people that I know in, who are into Bitcoin Cash and crypto and everything are not fans of the state. There's a, an old economist, now, yeah, and that makes sense. That totally makes sense. I, I'm not voicing my opinion on that, but I think you know where I stand on that, you know. But I'm trying to be a little objective here. Um... Because I, I do believe in working within the framework of the culture that you're that you're with, right? Um, that being said, there's a ton of things that I don't like. Um, so, but I, I do believe in um, trying to really improve things, uh, you know, with communication, and peacefulness, and uh, that kind of stuff. But there's an old guy from France named Frederick uh, Bastiat, and he had a he had a he would talk about economics. And he wasn't a schooled guy, but he would kind of whip up some shit on economics and and all the school guys would think about it and go, oh, you know, he was just like a, a nightmare for uh, all the schooled and trained people, um, sort of just a free thinker on the subject. But he, he whether he, he was right or wrong, I don't know, but I will tell you this. I'm going to I'm going to tell you to look up Frederick Bastiat. He's a French guy, I think from the 1800s or whatever, maybe 1700s. 
and um, he had an idea called the seen and the unseen. So that would those those cause those causative factors which are observable, and then the the unseen effects that produce more unseen effects and ripple through uh, the pond or the economic system, the society, uh, depending on what actions you take. So it's, a, it's not quite a butterfly effect, but it's that, you know, be careful what, what certain things you do because you can, you can create sometimes the effect that you would not want to create and just be aware of that. And uh, so what does this really mean? Well, I'm going to uh, give my opinion on what the definition of the unseen really is. What the unseen is, is this. So the, the true tragedy of statism and authoritarianism is this. The individual substitutes for his own personal, um, for his own personal uh, purpose to, to exist, to live. Because that's, that's what drives him and gives him his sort of elan vital, which is like the spirit and energy of life, uh, to, to push out, and it's the reason for exchange. Okay, so we all know that the definition of economics, well, we could argue about that, but I've, you've probably seen a ton of my uh, videos where I try to re give, redefine economics itself because I believe it's been falsely defined. It's simply the give and take. It is the give and take of life, and oftentimes it seeks, it will, if for you to survive, it'll minimum require you to balance that out. And it's not for someone else to decide. It's a personal thing, and you have a built-in metric and for, am I taking more than I, than I give? And you, you can live as long as you want, as long as you're, you know, you'll live better if you can give more than you take anyways, right? I think that's what we're all built to do. And the individual, the core of the individual, is literally the purpose that to exchange, to communicate, to reach out, to help, to survive, to, to build, to grow, all that kind of shit. This is why economics is so fucking confusing. Because it, the, the true cycle is this. It's, it, economics doesn't exist without an individual who has a fucking purpose. So the, the true cycle of production is this. It's individual, purpose, exchange, and then production, okay? And it's in that sequence. Now the unseen, as Frederick Bastiat was talking about, okay, is actually, is not some mystical force. The unseen effect is not so much in the production, because that's, it, this is where capitalism thought uh, capitalism focuses on the the unseen factors in the result of the production or in the middle stage of the exchange but the true the true unseen is in the initial start which is with the individual and with the individual finding his own purpose because when there is too much interference from things like the state or authority it squashes the, the individual and he never actually lives on his own purpose. He becomes a robot. He becomes an NPC, okay? So my challenge for, for you is this. Think about your purpose. Take as long as you need to figure it out. Take a month, take a year, take a week, take a, two days, whatever it is. Once you find it, move into exchanging along that purpose and find a way to incorporate Bitcoin Cash into that, or whatever other things you like. You know, barter it, or use Ethereum. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But this is the true cycle of the individual. It's purpose, then exchange, and then it's production, okay? So, I know, like, this has actually been a huge mystery for in the subject of economics for fucking hundreds and thousands of years, and like, only idiots like me or fucking, you know, are dumb enough to even, you know, come and even bother clarifying this. But I actually realize, like, I, 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 I realize, like, people, people just have this, like, they're missing their purpose. And so just focus on that. Find easy things that you could do. And all of a sudden your life will become fun. Okay? Uh, I hope this doesn't co come across as being, like, um, talking down to anybody. Like, you know, because 
um, you know, for me, I my purpose is just like, you know, I like to share good ideas with people. I like to be in touch with, with people and uh, share cool things. That's what keeps me happy. And at different times in my life, I've I've had a lot of struggles because I've been, you know, kind of doing stuff that I didn't really want to do. I couldn't I couldn't incorporate my actions with my purpose. Okay. So uh, oftentimes this stuff is relegated to the uh, uh, to the to the to philosophy or to spiritualism or religion, but people tend to look at economics as a materialistic thing, and so they they view it like a big machine with gears. But the thing that drives it is the individual who is not a machine. You are not a machine. Your body is a machine, but but the the mechanism of thought is not a machine. And so, and that's why why I say sometimes you know capitalism is materialism because all it it doesn't give it doesn't bring into the into any explanation the, this drive of the individual. They just say, oh, the goal of life is profit. No, the goal of life is to have, is to create your own purpose, and then move into action along your own self created purpose, and hopefully achieve some kind of a production, some kind of an effect that results in growth, benefit, or, you know, whatever you intended, okay? So that's a, that's a big difference between, you know, Adam Smith capitalism and, you know, individualism. And nobody's really been able to combine individualism into the economic, um, you know, explanation. So I hope this is a step in that direction. We can definitely do it if we're clear on our purpose. Take the time and find yours and if if you're new uh post your address below and uh happy to looking forward to giving you sending you your first bitcoin cash so uh let me know what you think thank you very much